popping, YouTube? It's your boy V9, the tech guru, and y'all already know what the fuck it is, man. Hey, back with another video. I'm going to show you guys how to get the Ragnarok DG4, which is the gravity spikes on Derizon Drop. Make sure you guys are definitely following me on all my social media outlets. Follow me on Twitch.tv. I do stream pretty much every day. Um, definitely make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to me here on YouTube. First thing you got to do is when that rocket pad's about to get ready to go off, stand by this little switch. It's going to open up. You hit it real quick and then run inside the room where the teleporter is. And then it's going to start spawning and sp like spawning zombies. Even if you have one zombie left, it'll start spawning more zombies. And then you got to watch this computer right here to the right. When all three of the lights turn green, it's always best to kind of time it or have someone killing the zombies around you so you ain't got to worry about it. Once all three lights turn green, you're going to see it come up on your screen. A square is going to show up. Well, to basically saying you telling you to hit square. And once you do that, and if you do it right, you'll know because it'll go away real, real quick. and You'll hear a noise. Like right about here. Boom, I hit it. And then they all turn red. And then that actual Ragnarok piece is going to show up in the teleporter right there. That's the first Ragnarok piece. The second Ragnarok piece actually shows up when you kill the Panzer. You got to kill the Panzer. Once you kill him, he'll drop the second Ragnarok piece. You don't really have to press X to pick or press square or X to pick it up. You can walk right into it and it'll just basically show up in your inventory. That's pretty much all you got to do. And there it is right there. The third Ragnarok piece, on the other hand, shows up in a little bit different. Um, there's pretty much two places that it's going to spam at, or actually spawn at. You got to activate the death ray, as you see I did right now. It's going to either show up on this little ball at the very top left, or that one on the very top, not, not that red one. That one, the, 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 the left or the right ball, the little electric balls, the one on the right and the one on the left. Depending on which one it shows up on is which Wonder Sphere you got to hit. If it shows up on this right one, you got to hit the Wonder Sphere from the left. If it shows up on the left, you got to hit the Wonder Sphere from the right. So that's pretty much how you can remember which one you got to hit. It's not really all that hard. Like, it's actually pretty easy. So what we did was we went ahead and went on down there and, and got into the Wonder Sphere and blasted ourselves off. And we got the third Ragnarok piece. And you can pretty much build it in any room. You can build it in a church. You can build it in a room where the, uh, where the second landing pad is. Or you can build it down in the pyramid room. It doesn't matter where, where you build it at. But that's basically how you get the Ragnarok DG4. So that pretty much leaves um, this video to go ahead and close. Make sure you guys are following me on all social media outlets. Make sure you guys like this video, like the Facebook page. You know what? All the information will be in the description box below. I'll link an annotation to all my other videos that I made on the Rise and Drop on how to get the bows. It's your boy V9, the tech guru. See y'all on the next one. Peace.